Hi guys. Okay, well, welcome back to another video of Scrap Mechanic. Now, off camera, I did some things. By some things is I got some more materials, like, so I upgraded the engine. Um, I have, uh, gathered more materials. So, like, I've got this stuff here to start making the floating base for when I'm ready. I'm gonna need a lot of that. So, yeah, stuff like that. <clears throat> the hell? Wait, do I got gas on me? Yes, I do. Okay, so what I'm basically gonna do now is... I'm gonna get a spud gun! Because off camera, I did some farming. I got enough stuff for a spud gun. Holy! Were the raids hard. Now, with this spud gun, it's a gun. It's gonna make battling so much easier. Farm bots, I'm gonna be able to kill. They're still gonna be hard, but I'm actually gonna be able to kill them now. So, that's great. So yeah. You guys will basically know what the spud gun is if you don't know what it is when you see it. So, it's sadly, I can't do this packing station. It's not this one. Because the fruit packing station's further up. Which sucks. Hey, dude. <laughs> I'll just bring this thing with me. Is it turning night? Really? Also, I've explored all my roads that I have access to right now, and everything I've explored on camera, maybe there's it, there's like two minutes, like last time, the furthest I got is that red guy, two minutes past there is another warehouse, and that's where the road ends. So, my road, my map, like, is not that good. I will, if I want a good base location, I will have to venture off the road to see it. Which sucks. Sucks, because that means not even terrain and like that. But, whatever, but the second packing station's right up here. This one does the other fruits. Okay. What is okay? It's blueberries first. Oh wait, I should probably hook it up. I'm not planning on making this episode long, I'm planning on just basically... Hopefully that hate bot won't be a problem. It's after that walk, so... Yeah. There we go. Okay.
Hopefully I not I got enough gas to make it to the trader. Are the blueberry ones bigger? Okay, no, I just have to... Okay, I didn't know if these... Because I thought all of them were the same size. Last one. There. Can I even reach my engine? Oh my god, I can. Somehow. Two notches up. How is that? Flip, please, flip. Wait, wait, not flip, I just go back on four wheels. Please, yeah, there we go. Okay. Spud gun's gonna make things so much easier. After this episode, though, I'm probably gonna do, like, off-camera stuff, like, doing more raids for some potatoes. Because that's the ammo for the spud guns. Spuds. Spuds. Potatoes. what the use of potatoes are. You can't eat potatoes. Ammo in this game. Which is weird, but yeah. You'd think bullets would be ammo. No, the potatoes. But this game is, has to do a lot about farming. The whole backstory of this game is people built bo uh, robots to farm for them, but the robots malfunctioned and started killing people. And, but their code to break crops and everything and farm is still there. So whenever you farm and they detect it, they go, that's why there's raids, right? So a whole story behind it. it. It isn't just some rogue robots. No. I don't know why they would make a giant red robot like that for farming. But yeah, like the only robot that I see that would be useful for farming is the hay bots. <laughs> like even like the tape bots, they shoot things. They shoot tape. How would that be useful for farming? And then there's also the explosive tape bots. Like the tape bots and Explosive tape bots can only be found like the tape bots can only be found in raids or warehouses, and the explosive tape bots can only be found in, in warehouses. The explosive tape bots literally shoot explosives. We're here though. We're about to get the spud gun. Which is actually very useful.
Spud gun. Okay, so if you're wondering how I got this, I did this off camera because it's a really tedious thing. It's just really you have to go around and try and find a caged farmer. And I always find a hard time finding them. I just conveniently found one by accident off camera. Um, not even looking for them. And I'm like, oh, I know I'm gonna have a hard time finding these guys, so I took it to the trader as soon as I could. So yeah. Okay. Okay. Spud gun. I don't have any spuds on me right now, though. They're all at the base. But, awesome! It's a gun! Let's get home. I'm so happy we got the spud gun. So now, the next step, I feel like with crops, not even crops, the next step is to kill a farm bot to get a warehouse key so we can go into warehouses. And what we'll find in a warehouse is pineapple and broccoli seeds and using that stuff we can get the shotgun and the spudling gun and where the heck is this guy going but as well i think in this episode i'm gonna get three more component kits so i can get a dress bar just three more i only need three more component kits because i off camera i got the rest of the tier three metal so yeah, just need component kits. The thing is though, I might need to go get more cotton. I don't know. Those green guys won't be able to drop. Um. Ooh, that chest might have component kits. Probably does. Hay bot as well. I would test my spuds on this guy, but don't have freaking spuds. Component kit? Yeah! Two more component kits. Yeah. I only need one more component kit then. See a little island there with a chest on it, so I'll go there. Component kit! Woo! Let's go make a dress bot. That'll that'll actually be the very first time I make a dress bot. I've never made a dress bot before. I've made a cook bot, made a refinery bot, I've made craft bots, but dress bot is the only bot I've never made before. Because I've always been like, clothes don't really matter. But, like, I've gotten to the point where I, I think I want accessories. I want accessories. I have the materials to make a dress bot, though, so I'm doing it. I have the tier 3 metal and the component kits at home. The only thing is, though, I won't be able to open all the garment boxes, though. Because I don't have enough cotton. I'll need to go out and get more cotton. Now, there's three different rarities of garment boxes. The common ones, there's the epic ones, no, there's the common ones, there's the epic ones, and then, what is it? It's not legendary. What are the rarities? Ow. Because you are a rare, and then there's epic, yeah. Is there a bot following me? No, okay. Is 
There we go. Okay, I got all the materials on me to make a dress bot. Dress bot. Boom. Cotton. I don't even have enough cotton to do that. I only have enough cotton to do these guys then. So how much cotton does it cost for these guys? Five. I can only open one garment box. I need to get a lot more cotton then. But we'll see what I get from that. I well, like... Unbox. Team Banana T-shirt. <laughs> oh my god. See, yeah, now that I've unlocked- uh, now that I've bought the dress bot, though, I've got the normal mechanic stuff now, too. Got the normal mechanic outfit. Instead of the torn up stuff, yeah. Yeah, this is what the mechanic usually looks like. Like, you can change the beard and like that, but yeah. That's what it usually looks like. And then, <laughs> but there's, then I've got this thing. Oh, wait, let's take off this thing. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna wear that. Let's go out and get some cotton then. Oh, it does feel good to have some clothes, though. Let's go get more cotton, though. Now, I have heard now some from Epic boxes, which is the best. There's common, rare, and epic. I've heard some people from Epic bo uh, uh, that from people that have done Epic garment boxes gotten some pretty lousy things disappointing things i'm hoping that doesn't happen with me if once i get an epic one you can only get epic garment boxes i believe in warehouses it's the only time i've seen them but yeah i'm sure you can get it somewhere else it's just very rare but yeah I feel like getting cotton seeds might not be a bad thing, because going this far for just cotton. Ugh. There you go. Let's just surfboard. I have plenty of those. I have a plethora of those. There's just so many freaking leg spines that I don't I, I don't refine of the hay bots because I just ram them with my drills and just keep on going. Sorry, walk. I don't really care for you guys anymore. There's some defenses to the farm I do want to make though, now that I have a, a spud gun. Which one is a bouncy floor. If you've ever heard of it, what is basically is, is you have a spring on an infinite loop going uh so you have a, you have a logic timer like the one i have on the car there for the oops 
for the chest for when I do like trading. But you have it set to a piston instead of a whatever you call that thing. Yeah, this is not the right type of force. I don't know why I went in here. So it keeps the piston, and you have it on like set to one. So the piston just keeps going up and down really fast. So like when a tote bot or a hay bot walks on it, they just ragdoll and they keep ragdolling, and it damages slowly them. You, it damages them slowly, but you can also hit them while they're on the floor too. So yeah. So like when they're coming at the at your defenses, you can still shoot them with the spud gun. But when they get close, that bounty floor will still uh, will still hit them and make it so that they can't hit your defenses either. So it's nice. And then oh whoa 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 that's where my second toilet seat went. Thank you. And also, here's the cotton bottom right here. Cotton biome's not that big either. Oh, look at all this cotton right here. It's lagging because I got close to the warehouse. do I got? Ooh, I, I got a good amount. I think that's enough for all the garment boxes I have. So, yeah. Let's head back. Before I, head, I start heading back, I want to drink some milk. I need to remember to grab this spud ammo. It's always good to have spud ammo on you. On you. I always have at least like usually around. I usually have always uh, at least like a hundred spuds on me. Usually, I like to keep a good amount in my inventory. In inventory. in these crates? Oh, hold on. Just saw a crate open here. I want to see if... Okay, so... Well, maybe there can. Okay, every time I see those crates then, I'll look out to see if there's anything in them. I don't know if there can be. There, there's gotta be. Right? That's interesting then. Okay, okay. It might be good to check those containers then. Might be stuff in them, like a chest sometimes. 
that's a packing station, so that's why there's probably no loot there, but like that that turnip one. If it's open, then there's probably loot. It's not open, but yeah. Every one of these huts, then I'll check if there's containers, and if there is, see if they're open. Awesome. Hey, 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 I want to kill the wall. <laughs> yeah, see, here's another packing station. Yeah, none of them are open. Like, it might be just that one packing station that the container's open. Nothing in it, like, I don't know. Here's another hut with a uh, thing. It's not open. Yippee. <laughs> so maybe they're not always open. It just might be that the second packing station has one container that's open, which just has a pile of bananas in it. <laughs> Can't even collect the bananas. Stupid. feels good. Finally have a spud gun? Yes. I only have so many spuds though, so yeah. Now let's do all the greens I think first. Because I have in each one of these, so there'd be 15 there with the green. Oh, I don't have enough for all of them. Okay then. I have enough. I, I'm one cotton short. You've got to be kidding. I'm one cotton short from doing all of them. That sucks. Okay, then I'll do two greens and a purple. That's frustrating. Okay, then I'll put green back. That is frustrating. I hope the purple one is something good. But that is frustrating. I'm one cotton short from doing all of them. One box. Delivery shoes. Those aren't bad. Okay. Shoes. I like them. They're sneakers. I'm going to use those. Yeah. Oh yeah, I like those gloves. Okay, time for the purple. Hopefully the purple ends up being something good.
I don't know. Um, okay, hat. I can't really see him. No, 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 no. Oh, I had a trashy one. Dang it. <sighs> oh, I still got the cool gloves and shoes. These shoes and these gloves were up. Those were good. I like those. That's the only thing that was good, though. Dang it. Well, I'm gonna go plant some potatoes. Because I need spuds. Oh, and also, yes, I did do this as well. Is I organized this area. With the chests and everything. Off camera. Potatoes are considered a tier 1 crop, so this shouldn't be too hard of a raid. So I'm gonna add, like, I don't know, like... These, these. In there. Put some of those. I really need to automate the water system. This is just really time consuming. Should be over watered. There. I'll be ready to pew 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 at the guys, at the enemies. Okay. Well, I think I'm gonna end this episode here, guys. I'm really happy I got his blood gun. Even though this was the shortest episode so far of Scrap Mechanic. Um I think I got a lot of done here. It's because I literally gathered all the materials I needed to do for this episode, like well, actually, you know what? This might have been still a long episode. We'll see. But yeah, see you guys next time.